In this video, we'll take a look at how to make a simple bouncing trampoline using the wave deformer. Now you can see I've got a trampoline model from one of my students here, and the center just doesn't have enough subdivisions to make a good bouncing. Deformers need a lot of subdivisions for them to work right. So I'm going to make a new cylinder to replace the middle of that trampoline. And I'll go ahead and set its size and squash it down a little bit. And then in its creation node, I'm going to turn up the subdivisions caps to give me more subdivisions. Now, I'll go to Deform, Nonlinear, and choose Wave. You can see in the Wave 1 tab that the amplitude sets the amount of wave that I see in the object. Drop Off allows the Deformer to stop working out towards the edges of the object. So with a Drop Off of 1, I'm able to keep the outer rim of the trampoline set. And I'll use the wavelength to figure out exactly how many ripples I want in the trampoline. Of course, I only want just the one ripple for it to be bouncing up and down like that, as opposed to looking like a ripple in a pond. Now, I'll go ahead and keyframe the amplitude to animate the trampoline bouncing up and down. I'll go back and forth a couple of times and set a few keyframes. Of course, I've got automatic keyframe turned on, so anytime I change that already keyframed attribute, it'll automatically keyframe it. Now, if I play back the animation, we have a bouncing trampoline. Now, as with deformers, if you move the object, you need to move both the geometry and the deformer together. So I'll go ahead and place the new trampoline middle right about where the low poly trampoline is. But I do have to remove the inside of that trampoline manually by deleting its faces like this. Now that I have the faces removed, I can move the cylinder and the deformer geometry into place, and there we have it. You group all those together, you can move them as one unit. And there we have a bouncing trampoline.